They're never too young to get into a batting cage. Everyone has a dream, and dreams come true with enough practice. It's the Sheridan Troopers versus the Gillette Rough Riders at the AA State Tournament in Jackson. Top of the first, Sheridan wearing the red. Connor Jorgensen batting with two runners in scoring position, and he'll bring both in with this base hit. Nolan McCafferty and Jeff Shanor touch the plate to make the score two to nothing. Bottom of the first, Gillette would answer. C.J. Rhodes goes the opposite way to get things started. The single will bring in Drayson Hladke and last year's AA state runner-ups trail 2-1. to one. This was an elimination game, and the winner not only advances to the championship, the winner also qualifies for the AA Northwest Regional Tournament. This fly ball will not be caught, and last year's AA Northwest Regional runner-ups are in business. Kyler Stark, Austin Hester, and Rhodes all score. Coulter Langdon put the ball in play. The Rough Riders take the lead 4-2. to two. Bottom of the second, a sacrifice fly would make it 5-2. to two. Dylan Buckmeyer will loop a single into center field. That will allow Josh Hughes to score a run and make this a 6-2 to two game. And another sack fly in the third pushes the score up to 7-2. to two. Bottom of the fourth, Gillette was threatening again. Derek Hooker is going deep to left. Not quite enough to get out of here, but enough to pad the lead. Hester and Rhodes will add two more insurance runs, which they ended up needing. It's a 9-2 ball game at this point. Top of the fifth, Sheridan was having trouble trying to get a comeback started. Getting picked off at second does not help. Joseph Harris and Hughes take out the runner, but from that point on, the tide would turn and most everyone learned that a seven-run lead is not safe. The Troopers would get to work. McCafferty sends a single just past Hughes' reach. Coy Steele was quick to head in, and not far behind him was Blake King. There's more work to do. The scoreboard reads 9-4. Later, this is Turner Martini with the bases loaded, and the shortstop position was a popular place to hit the ball to. McCafferty will complete his trip around the bases, and Shaynor will do the same thing because he was on the run from second base. This game is getting a little more interesting now. It's 9-6. Still in the top of the fifth, Noah Gustafson is going to get in on the act. The single nets him an RBI in the form of Jorgensen. Sheridan was on the comeback trail down 9-7. Bottom of the sixth, defense time. Blake Godwin to King, and that was just in the nick of time to take out the runner at second. I think you can tell which side has all the momentum going for them at this juncture in the game. Top of the seventh. The Rough Riders were looking for a momentum killer. Hughes to Hester to Hooker for the 6-4-3 double play. However, the Troopers would eventually push one more across the plate to make this a one-run game. It's 9-8. to eight. Top of the eighth. Gillette had one big problem that you have not yet seen. Errors. Seven of them. That hurt. King reaches safely and Godwin scores. It's a tie game. Now it's 9-9. Nine to nine. Bottom of the eighth. Sheridan's defense was doing a much better job. McCafferty to Gustafson to Martini for the 5-4-3. They realized their season was on the line, and as of late, they have been playing like it. Bottom of the ninth, Jorgensen was pitching in relief, and he delivered. In the final eight innings, he gave up three runs, none of them earned, and threw 138 pitches. Top of the tenth, Gillette was their own worst enemy, and this was not the time to be that. Andrew Ratty reaches on the error, steal scores. The Troopers have scored eight unanswered and lead 10-9. to nine. Bottom of the tenth, the Rough Riders would load the bases with one out. This play took some guts, but you know what they say, no guts, no glory. McCafferty steps on third for one and then fires across the diamond to Martini in time, and that's the ball game. The Sheridan Troopers battle back from a 9-2 deficit to eliminate Gillette and qualify for the AA State Championship game and the AA Northwest Regional Tournament. Final score in 10 innings, 10-9.